Hey guys and welcome to my channel of all sorts. Um, today uh, this is just an intro to a video about London. I recently got back from London and we stayed for two nights and um, my brother, thank you Daniel, managed to get some video clips of where we went there. Um, yeah, we stayed in Victoria. The hotel was... How, how can I put it nicely? It wasn't the best, but it was cheap. So yeah, it's, it's not, it was just above a hostel. Um, I knew what <laughs> I was paying for. I wasn't surprised, I, I, to be quite honest, I've stayed in worse places. Um, but yeah, it was, I don't know, the bed was clean. So that was, that was good enough for me. I'm not really that picky when it comes to staying places. I'll just stay because I know it's just a place to rest my head so yeah we stayed two nights we stayed in Victoria it was around the corner from the Victoria coat station you couldn't get a better like central place to stay it was like nine minutes or seven minutes for Buckingham Palace um not that I'm bothered about Buckingham Palace let's just 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 get that out there pretty building but I'm not I'm not bothered about the Queen all right Queen Liz is just there and that's it um yeah so i'm not i'm not a royalist can you tell uh, so yeah what we what we did what did we do when we was there fine okay let's go through this so when we got there we went to well i was in, i was the one that booked everything so everybody was looking at me to like what to go right where to go what to do and stuff like that because i'd been to london a few times before with um my best friend who's now pissed off to Australia. Thanks, Jade. Um, no, <laughs> no, um, we went f a few times to London. So yeah, everybody was like looking at me of where to go. So the first place I took them was to Algate East Station and everybody's thinking, whoa, Amy, why did you go to Algate East Station? Well, uh, for my dad's birthday, which was the Monday, we went on the Tuesday, I booked him to go on the Jack the Ripper tour. Um, I'd been on the tour five years previous, so, I was like, this tour is amazing, we're going to go on it. So I booked the tour and we had to meet them at Algate Station. So we thought, okay, well, we had to get a Royster card. Well, they had to, so that was interesting. Um, so we went to Algate East Station. We went to a diner where we had a burger. Um, yeah, as I'm talking, I'm actually going to put the pictures here so you can see them because um, I've got an iPhone, which I haven't had long, never used an iPhone before, so I have no idea how I'm going to get the photos off this, because I believe you've got to do it on iTunes, I don't even know. So yeah, hopefully the pictures should come off this, can you please give me the pictures? So yeah, I'll put them down here. Okay, so we had a burger, that was, burger was great, and um, I had a milkshake, now a Coke float, Coke float, and I'm seriously... Hadn't had one of them since I've been a little teeny bopper. So yeah, we had that. And then we went on the Jack the Ripper tour. We had a walk around like Whitechapel and that, but you would not know the streets. I, I have no I, I have no idea where I was going. So I we went on the Jack the Ripper tour, which lasted like well over an hour. If you ever get a chance to do the Jack the Ripper tour, then I suggest you do it because all the tour guides they know what they're doing, they're funny, they all you know, it's just it's just a really good tour and it's what is it twelve pounds, something like that? Um, when I first went on it, it was eight. Now it's twelve. Um, but yeah, the, you can ask them. You can file questions at them, and they can answer everything for you. And it's a really good tour. It takes you all around Whitechapel, where Jack the Ripper happened. I don't know why I'm doing that because it actually did happen. Um, yeah. But I did the tour. Like I said, I did the tour five years ago, and then from five years ago to now, there's not a lot there that you can actually see. It's um quite it shocked me really about how much is actually been dismantled and gone um by boris and i suppose not just him it's the government and that they're just building up london so the history is vanishing before your very eyes which is i was quite shocked because five years ago i could see a lot more than what i did on this jet the ripper tour after that or we'll just go to day two because we i think we just walked around and then we went back Day two, I we went to the Natural History Museum, and I can. After I've said that, I'll insert the video. Right, this, uh, 
before if you ever get a chance to go go it's free to get in you just have to you, you can put a donation in you don't have to because let's be honest they should keep it open it's lottery funded so yeah it's a re it's, it's really really cool place to learn about volcanoes earthquakes and then there's just me stood there saying that's up for an earthquake in japan not good um yes yeah, it's, it's got loads to do for kids it's a nice place if you go in the week oh there's a bug if you go in the week then there's like less people but there's loads of schools so be warned screaming kids yeah they are about there is gemstones you can learn quite a lot and then we went to next door to oh if you want to get off the tube at south kensington then i think you can there's signs up for the natural history museum it's around there anyway not far from harrods um then next to it you have the science museum which i had never been before so we went in the science museum yeah it was okay um the I'll insert pictures here. They had some good stuff, and then you, you can learn about the human body, which was it? Yeah, it was it was interesting. I prefer the natural history museum personally, but I like volcanoes. Yeah, I'm just watching this book over here. It's like moving, and like go away, go away. Okay, so yeah, we did them, and then I took them to Camden because Camden is my favourite place in London. <clears throat> I have been out there many times and I do like it. If you go to the World's End pub and then you can go to Underworld, it is banging me. It's awesome. Um, so yeah, that is, that is really good. The Camden Market is amazing. Little stores, really nice pictures. Um, beautiful, be just beautiful. It's just I feel I feel like I fit in in Camden. Whereas if I went to like Westminster, I was just like oh, awkward. <laughs> like or oh, you know, I just don't, I just don't nah. Um. Yeah, I, overall I do love London. I did want to do the Tower of London. We ran out of time. We're going to go back in summer because it was fucking freezing. It was even more cold than it is actually here. So, yeah, we're going to go back in the summer and do the Tower of London because I've done that before, but I want to do it again because I love it. It's amazing. Um, and Tower Bridge, I didn't get to see that, but I wanted, to, I do want to see it because that is my favourite landmark. Um, but we did see Big Ben. We saw Big Ben strike 8 o'clock at night.
so that was nice and Big Ben is just it's beautiful. Did you know Big Ben is the name of the bell, not the clock? The clock is called the Great Westminster Clock, I think. Yeah, so just 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 putting that out there. But no, it was um it was a really nice time in London. Just a shame it was very, very cold. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one. Which is gonna be about I don't know. Maybe what should we do? Should we do some animes? My favourite animes that I enjoy watching. Uh, I think we probably should, shouldn't we? Yeah. We're all, I think we're all in agreement here. We'll talk about anime in the next video because because if you're on my channel, you've got to love anime, right? Yeah? Hi, huh? yeah, we're all in this together? Okay, yeah. Right, I'm gonna go. See you later. Why does everybody say see you later when they're actually not gonna see you? See you later. See you tomorrow. Okay, I'm off.